Hello, and welcome to Rick's Kids. Here we have on the desk today a bit of sci fi um, agency by the uh, logo up in the top corner. It's a Doctor Who, it's a Dalek. Mark 3 Movie Dalek 18th Hour Plastic Injection Kit, and the Manufacturer is Comet Miniatures, made in England. Um, here's another one of my father's kits. Pulled out of the. Um, there we go. We're giving it a coat of. Let me a fine primer. We need to wait for this to dry. I can go on and start. Doing the dome. Okay, welcome back. Um, here's where we're at at this point in time. I've done quite a bit, so um, with the base of the garlic all painted in gloss black, very very shiny, so it's light reflecting backwards and forwards. But there's the base. The garlic still got the guns to paint. Um, I have been doing some other bits and pieces. Here we've got the um, the eye. There's a bit of uh, I've drawn it out slightly, and there's a lot of chrome in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of um, clear fix in there, so it looks like a lens. Um, here it is dome. Head, the lights they are dry um take those in chrome and what i'm going to do is i'm going to give them a coat of uh, clear orange uh, over the top um painted all four of the four of the slats in silver that's done we've got the Mesh all in silver. Um, all of the all of the rings that go around the uh, around the neck. They're all done silver. I've had to look online to make sure I'm getting this right. Uh, the pieces that go those hoops. Um, there is the eye stalk um, um, there's some rings that go on here waiting for them to dry they're in light blue uh, that's painted up um, like I said I was going to do things up to do in order to reduce it with the gun let's get into a problem there we go there's the gun but i've managed to get some rod cut it to length um painted them silver so they're going to go all in the gun all the gun and that silver uh, the only thing I've got left to do on the actual uh, darling itself here is the base needs to be done in gold and then putting it all together ah, the little half balls that go all around the dark I've painted those in gold and in gold this gold dark used here that's what the base is going to be like um, so yeah, that's where, that's where we're currently sitting. Everything waiting to be together. And that's not cool. No, because it's a rod.
very bright. Start to take shape. Um, long now, and I'll be able to finish this up. That's the one. Get on to else. Uh, I'll catch you in the. Uh, well, welcome back. So here we go. Here was here's where we at now. Um, the base is gold. All the ball balls. Gold balls. The little domes, all gold and stuck. The uh, base of the target. We have got. Or color clear or not, I don't know. So I'll cut off some brass rod. Um, shot a second, cut up some brass rod, replace the plastic parts on the gun. Um, so they're all installed and painted up silver. Oh, I couldn't do nothing about the wonky, wonky part of the gun, uh, that was already glued on. By its previous owner, my father, so that I could do that if I took it apart, it would it would break. It's very fragile plastic, so um, that's on. We've focus up. We say we've I've drilled down the end of the barrel on that. Um, that's the main body casing and everything done. The red bit on the top is for where the dome sits and it's blue. So. It allows you to uh, rotate the, the head. Um, so after drilling out the eye socket, you might just be able to see it. Slightly domed glass. I put some clear fix from Umbro in there to make it look like a lens. Um, the actual Let's head itself. We've got this in place now. It's a bit loose. I'm going to, have to do something on the back. But we've painted the orange over the chrome. We were orange over the chrome for the um, lights on the top. So that's currently drying. And still nice and glossy, which is good. Uh, just down here in the corner, you can see the uh, light blue of the bits that go round here yeah, I'm not sure what they're for you go on the eye stalk they're light blue so that's done um, I have because there was no claw in this it was missing um, out of some screw I have and a claw of such. Yes, it's not ideal, but it's enough for what I want. Just to you know, bring the model back up to where it, where it is. Where this bit's gone, I don't know. Got lost in all the years somewhere. So that's fashioned up and made. So the next task on on here. Um, a little bit bit of a tricky one to be honest with you. because uh, I've been trying I've been dry running, doing dry running, etc. on it, is to get these lovely silver bands around the bottom and the top of the uh, neck part. Uh, there's some tiny little square pieces there which Keep the plastic, sorry, keep that silver band away from the actual body of the Dalek. And then, because it's uh, a second movie Dalek, see the claw there, uh, we've got to add the mesh in over the top before we add the um, stacks around the side. And then, with that done, all that we need to do is then put the rings on. Set them in place and attach the head and the claw of the Dalek. And that one's 
will be complete. So that's where we've got to. Move my paintbrushes in a sec, so I don't knock everything about. Uh, I do have to paint the other side of these because they're it's all grey. Yeah, that's where we're at. Quite pleased with how it's going together so far. Excuse me. A few little touch up here and there. I mean, there's a little bit of gold that's just flaked off of that ball, but I will redo that. Um, and then I think this is a flat finish. So what I'm going to have, probably have to do is put some uh, some gloss over the top of it. So once I get these bands and everything in place, I'll bring you back and show you that. I'll get the rest of these, the other side of this painted up, get that installed and get the eye installed on the front. Uh, and then we'll come back and deal with the, the neck bands. Uh, yeah, so see you in a bit. So here it is, the finished item. Mark III Movie Dalek in black gold with silver. Comet miniatures in a to thank all my subscribers for supporting me in this video and all my new subscribers thank you for joining um have a good day a good weekend shall i say and good modeling i'll see you in the next one bye for now